A montage of photographs depicting students and teachers. A graphic of the Perkins logo and the words, Teachable Moments. A title, The Spine, with Kate Fraser. Hello, I'm Kate Fraser. I'm a teacher at Perkins School for the Blind. Today we're going to talk about a lesson used to teach about the structure and function of the human body, particularly the backbone. Kate sits at a table and describes the materials she will be using. The materials here include a shoelace to represent the spinal cord, or for a shorter lesson and with a younger child, a chenille stem pipe or pipe cleaner as they're called because it's stiffer and easier to thread. Some macaroni, either this particular kind, short ziti, or wagon wheel, which more closely replicate the um, nature of a vertebrae, of a, verte of a vertebra. The um, discs, the cartilage between the backbones are represented either by foam circles like this, or, which is very fun for the student, a um, gummy savers, a series of gummy savers. They smell good and um, the students have to be encouraged not to eat them. <laughs> so in setting up the tray for the activity, we have the gummy savers in one corner, the macaroni in another corner, the shoelace, and the paper plate, which is optional, but for some students, especially younger ones, this is fun and it represents the head. This can be decorated as a face. Some students enjoy that with stickers. For some students, again, depending on their age, we can thread on the macaroni. Kate threads several pieces of macaroni onto a pipe cleaner without using foam, circles, or gummy savers, a spinal column with no cushioning. I will instruct them just to put on a few. and then hold it up to their ear and wiggle it the way you'd move your backbone. And you can hear the macaroni grinding against one another. Removing the macaroni, again, doing that either on the pipe cleaner or the shoelace. Then the student would tie the spinal cord or attach the spinal cord to the, the brain in the head. And for some students, this might be a little tricky, but then begin to thread alternating a vertebra with a gummy, with another vertebra, with another gummy. Then you'd continue to work until you had the correct number of vertebrae for the human backbone or a shorter ver backbone if desired for a younger child. And then as part of the activity, I would have the child again bring this up to their ear and listen and they could hear that the grinding noise is much softer because in fact, the vertebrae are cushioned by these cartilage discs that are now here. Kate displays two versions of the completed spine project, one with foam discs, the other with gummy savers. And this is an example of a couple of finished products. This one made with the discs, which again, do not grind because of the foam discs. And this one is a finished product with the um, gummy savers. And very often for some children, what they really enjoy doing is taking this and knowing that this is their head and then putting it behind them and seeing the relationship between the backbone they constructed and the backbone that they have in their own bodies. Mm -hmm.